Welcome to Susie's Secret Recipes in Little Country Store. And so guys, it's snowing outside. I love snow. Um, we're in the middle of November, so we're kind of having fall season and then today a little bit of a winter mixture. And so we're supposed to warm up then um, toward the um, end of the week and be more fall-like. So our weather is definitely crazy here, but um, it's been nice to um, have big big snowflakes um, falling from the sky. It was absolutely beautiful. But guys, I'm fixing to get into my kitchen and fix some salt scrubs. I've been doing a lot of different things getting ready for the holiday season. So hang with me and we'll get this show on the road. As you've seen in the last um, several videos that I've done, I have been very busy making things for the holiday season. Um, some for sale and then some just for gifts. And so I have been making uh, my sugar scrubs and um, goat soap. And actually I made some last night. They turned out really pretty. And it's honey and oats. Smells good, very good for your skin. I've made them in the smaller little bar too. So I've made some homemade vanilla extract as well and then um, it won't be ready until around the 20th of December. I made it the uh, 1st of November and it needs to set about, oh, a month and a half to two months. And so it'll be ready around the 20th. And um, today what I'm gonna be doing is some homemade um, salt scrubs. Now, I've made the sea salt scrubs, um, the pink Himalayan um, scrubs, and today I'm going to do the Epsom salt, and I like all of them. Um, I don't I guess I have a preference over, you know, which one I like the best of the salt scrubs, but um, the difference in your um, sugar scrub and your uh, salt scrub is just the texture for one thing, but... Um, the use, like I would not put the salt scrub on my face. It's a little coarser and a little rough. Um, it's perfect for like your uh, your heels and just stuff like that. Um, it's really good um, for the rest of your body. I just wouldn't use it on my face. The, the sugar scrub, I would. And um, I prefer the sugar scrub. That doesn't mean that the salt scrub isn't good. It is, it's just, um, I like the sugar scrub. That's just a preference. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take a microwave safe bowl and put your coconut oil in. And this is four tablespoons. Just add it to your bowl. And then two tablespoons of shea butter. Shea butter is excellent for your skin. Um, this is uh, the triple A grade. It is, um, let me see if I can find it, here it is. And it is wonderful. I like to use this and mix it with like my face cream and put it on and uh, it's just a wonderful thing for your, your face, for your skin. Actually, you can use it for your hair. It's just, it's just a good product. And the coconut oil that I used was this one and it's an organic. Um, coconut oil. So once you've got them into your bowl, you're going to want to go to your microwave and heat them for about 30 seconds. And then stir it. And if you need to go a, an additional 15 minutes, go ahead and, and do that, which looks like I'm going to have to do that. Okay. That looks a whole lot better. Just stir it and get it blended well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to um, add about um, one tablespoon of olive oil. Now what I do at this point, guys, is I like to color um, my sugar scrub. So I'm going to do it in this real pretty blue, but I'm going to pour it into my olive oil. You don't have to use a whole lot, just a teaspoon. I didn't even measure it, but it's about a teaspoon. And start, um, mix it into your olive oil. And as you can see, it's turning a real pretty blue. 
reasoning for putting the color directly into the olive oil was um, trial and error. <laughs> I made a mistake. I put the powder directly into my um, bowl and it just started clumping up. I couldn't get it mixed real smooth. And so, and I do this with my soap, you know, I put it into um, actually alcohol, rubbing alcohol um, and stir it and put it into my soap mixture um, so that it comes out really smooth. And so um, doing this with the olive oil, as you can see, it's mixed really smooth. See that or not. And so it's ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is add my essential oils. And this is um, called Relax. And so I'm going to put a couple of drops of that in. And then this one is called um, Restore and they smell very good and so you don't need a whole lot just a few drops of each one of them come out there we go and then stir get them blended in with your coconut oil and your shea butter and then you're going to want to add your um, salt. So at this point, if you're using sea salt, you would probably want to put it into um, a food processor because it is a lot uh, bigger and coarser and it would make it, you know, not so, um, a little finer. This Epsom salt is perfect. So I don't have to do anything with it. So I'm going to add it directly in to the bowl and stir it. Okay, at this point is when I'm gonna add the olive oil in and my color. Now this is mica powder and it's what, like I said, this is what I use for my goat soap and it's not harmful to your skin at all. It just gives it a pretty color. And you just stir it. As you can see, it's a real pretty blue. It looks like a winter blue. So I'm gonna let this sit for just a minute and let it thicken, and I will then put it into my jars. Um, I will put the recipe to this in the description, and so if you're wanting to make um, a bigger batch of it, you will be able to. Um, I will be making more of this, I'm sure. But I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like, and it's already, actually, it's ready. If you, um, find that it's not as thick as you would like it to be. If it seems like it's more runny, just add some more salt to it and um, um, stir it and let it sit. So, I mean, it's something that you can kind of play with. And because um, I have done that before, I have gotten a little bit more oil than what I had intended and it was a little more runnier. And so I just added a little more salt to it. So that's something that you can do. But um, this is very good for your skin. Um, olive oil, coconut oil, organic, and shea butter. Excellent for your skin. And so guys, it is ready to go into the jar. So I'm just gonna pick it up and put it in. You can use any kind of jar that you want to. I've got some that have a little flip lid like that. Um, canning jars little jelly jars are adorable and then I just found these um, online through Amazon they were actually very cheap and they're adorable this would make a cute little gift okay wipe that off here okay there you go and put the little fork in and then it has the little spoon that goes on the side. And so I did take time today to make a couple of pies 
chocolate and lemon. Um, Richard and I both love those. And um, we haven't had anything sweet for a while. And so I thought, well, why not fix that? Of course, it's too much for both of us to eat all of that. So I'll have to share some of that with other people. But um, I do like to bake during the uh, colder seasons. It's just something about the colder weather puts me in the mood for baking. So guys, if you enjoyed the video today, then please give me a thumbs up and put it in the comments. And thank you again for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't done so, then please click the subscribe button and the notification bell, and it will notify you when I'm gonna have another video. And so I will put the um, recipe to the salt scrub in the description, and um, I will see you guys next Monday for an episode of Monday Motivation at seven o'clock a.m. Central Time. And then again next Wednesday for another episode of Susie's Secret Recipes at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. God bless you and happy trails.